ഹാപ്പി മോർണിംഗ് ഓൾ ഓഫ് യു മൈ നെയിം ഇസ് ജറൽ ചെറിയാൻ പ്രിൻസിപ്പൾ എം ഡബ്ല്യു ടി ഗ്ലോബൽ അക്കാഡമി പ്രൈവറ്റ് ലിമിറ്റഡ് കൊച്ചി എ ഡിവിഷൻ ഓഫ് ഹെൽത്ത് കരിയേഴ്സ് ഇൻ്റർനാഷണൽ ഓസ്ട്രേലിയ ഐ എം എക്സ്ട്രീംലി ഹാപ്പി ടു ബി ഹിയർ ഇൻ സർവോദയ കോളേജ് ഓഫ് നഴ്സിംഗ് ബാംഗ്ലൂരു ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡിസ്കസ് സംതിങ് അബൌട്ട് ദ ഇന്നോവേഷൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ടീച്ചിങ് ആൻഡ് ലേണിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റം അസ് യു ഓൾ നോ ദ ലേണിംഗ് പ്രോസസ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട്സ് ഫ്രോം ദ വൂം ആൻഡ് ഡാൻസ് ഇൻ ദ ഹോം and probably in a child's life maybe the child might have been heard the mother's heartbeat as the first sound and that may be his first learning from the auditory level and each day when the child progress they are learning new things with the new methods different strategies from different people and uh, whatever it is the initial learning starting from the home then finally it into a systematic way the school the colleges the professional learning and all this area we are experiencing with the different methods of teaching and different tools that is used in teaching and if you just think about years back where when the human being started living in a particular place the first invention was agriculture and still it is supposed to be the biggest invention by the human being because for the survival you need the agriculture and those time they used to write it down in the rocks or somewhere regarding the climate what time the year they will get the water what time they will get the rain all those things and from that day there was a curiosity for the human beings to learn things in different way and it is not only learning they try to give that knowledge to their next generation and the same thing happens still now and it is still happening it's going on process in the training and education system there was lot of changes happen when we think about the ancient time it was they were used to write it in the initially in the leaves or in the rock and they used to transfer the information from or the knowledge from to the from them to the next generation and as years passed by there are lot of new items are developed by the human being one of that was the chalkboard the traditional chalkboard replaced by the whiteboard smart board came you used lot of charts models mannequins and uh, the overhead projector then the computer came in we used computer another slide projector and finally the projector that is also wifi projector you can have even audio video incorporated you can include the internet and you during the era of the covid time we used completely technology based learning system now today i am going to present you with a different method of teaching or the training process that is hololens my by microsoft here actually otherwise you might have heard the word virtual reality and we are creating the environment in front of the students and the feel of learning the feel of understanding the feel of comprehending it is much much enhanced with the hololens system with the virtual reality and i will take a tour to the virtual reality keep watching so this is the hololens uh, which you are watching usually it will be applied on top of your head and you have to really tighten it well on the back because it's very costly and power it on and uh, there are inbuilt softwares are available with this where uh, that will act as for you and uh, all the keyboards everything will be created virtually in front of you so i will play i will move my fingers to play with it just log in and uh, actually i have the keyboard in front of me where i type the password yes that's it and i am into it now hopefully i will connect you to another monitor to for you to watch and just in a small break we'll come back to you welcome to the hollow lens now you are seeing the skeletal system and i'm going near to it and virtual reality you are watching the skeleton and you can see the entire view from the bottom the bones from the talus or the tibia the fibula the humerus the pelvic 
റേഡിയസ് അങ്ങാണ്ട് ആൻഡ് ദ ഹ്യൂമറസ് ഇൻ ദ അപ്പർ ആം ദ സ്റ്റേർണം ആൻഡ് ദ റിബ്സ് കമ്മിറ്റ് ടു ദ സ്റ്റേർണം പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ ടു വിറ്റ് യു ഹാവ് ദ വെർട്ടിബ്ര ദ സ്കാൾ വിൽ ഗോ ഫോർ എ പോസ്റ്റീരിയർ വ്യൂ വെയർ വി ക്യാൻ ഹാവ് എ ലിറ്റിൽ മോർ ദ വ്യൂ ഓഫ് ഓൾ ദ ബോൺസ് ഫ്രം ദ posterior side where we can see the femoral condyle the tibia uh, okay there is no disc it's taken away and the vertebral column you can go even deep into it into the skull you can see inside the skull again the teeth and even the okay the sternum and where all the ribs are inserted coming back to the vertebra the body of the vertebra the spinal canal spinal process pedicles and still we can go deep into it down to it the pockets at the tail bone it ends there in this image the control is in my hand now you are seeing the muscular system the view the anterior view the muscular skeletal system where you can see all the muscles and muscles of the face the sternocleidal mustard muscles the pectoralis muscles abdominal muscles the quadriceps in the anterior part of the thigh the gastrocnemius and soleus in the lower part of the extremity the biceps and all the flexor and uh, flexor and the stentor carpi radialis of the radius and sorry and the ulnaris the deltoid muscle again the posterior view the uh, the beautiful lattice mastosi gluteus and you can go to the interior of it where you can see the diaphragm again more deeper and you can see the intercostal muscles which are the ribs uh, the view is fantastic and the students with and the insertions everything students will have a better view point and a different color of all the muscles and this is is more easy to understand uh, the insertions of the muscles where it is going can go into again more deeper into it uh, where you can see the arterial and the venous supply to the arm again a posterior view of the same and uh, it's again beautiful a different view again Okay. actually this can be utilized for the students to learn uh, point out and or identify the parts so you can ask the question what denotes b so again it is lattice muscle do c and the one which is a comes with the deltoid muscle the muscles on the chest abdomen the muscles of the leg okay so this is the digestive system where you can see all the digestive organs i think i'll go for a better image a bigger one with this okay a gigantic fellow and where you can see the digestive system and including the kidney and the beauty of this is even you can go into deeper into each organ where you can see the deeper part of it where i can go into the stomach where i can see the two orifices one is to the esophagus and the upper side and the other one to the duodenum and the pancreatic duct and you can see the gallbladder and the posterior side and the liver and even all the bones everything and we'll go for the one more view that is okay again it is coming to me uh, you can see it's on front position and it can go into it okay going to the spinal canal Okay. You can go deeper and uh, it go for my anterior view but it's it's it's, it's huge uh, we'll go to the next immediately uh, the circulatory system where you can see how all the great vessels the organs mainly includes the heart and the gas sensing system the lungs again you can go deeper into the heart where you can see the ventricle and the tricuspid valves and bicuspid bicuspid valves the arch of aorta the descending aorta and going back to the i mean the abdominal aorta and bifurcating into the lower limbs we'll go to the next image the central nervous system posterior view where you can see the brachial plexus 
the sacral plexus, the anterior side you can see the lumbar plexus, including the beauty over here you can see the spinal cord into it. Yes, and even you can see the, the green, the yellow color, the nerve roots which is coming out from the uh, the in the intervertebral space. Okay, and anterior view it, including the brain. Yes, beauty. So. Uh, hope that all of you enjoyed this system and uh, with this Jalusharian signing off from you. Hope that you have enjoyed the session.